Praise God. We thank the Lord for another wonderful day that the Lord has given us. You remember? It's all about Jesus. It's all about the grace. It's all about the presence of the Holy Spirit. When God is with us, the Bible says, who can be against us? When the power of God works with you as a child of God, receiving is like breathing. I want you to understand, you need the Holy Spirit as you start the day. Just follow my prayer as you invite him to come and start with you. Say, oh Holy Spirit, I need you today. Fill my heart in Jesus' name. Amen. When you walk with him, testimony will walk after you or will run to you. I want to take you from the word of God, from the book of Psalms. The Psalms chapter number 118, I'll read verse number 5. The Bible says, In my anguish I cried to the Lord, and the Lord answered by setting me free. In times of trouble, where do you run to? When you start the day, nobody knows what will happen the next second. Only God knows. Nobody knows what will happen in the next hour. Only God knows. So the psalmist said, In my anguish I cried to the Lord, and the Lord set me free. In whatever situation you are facing, all you need is to cry to the Lord. It means run to the Lord. The Bible says also, The righteous run to the Lord and have safety. Because the Lord is a strong tower. Today you can run to the Lord and have safety. For the Lord is a strong tower. It takes the grace to walk with God to become the righteousness of God. That's what the scripture says. Those who are in Christ Jesus, they become the new creation. I pray that today, wherever you go, you'll be a new creation. Your past is over. Behold, the new has come. You win that battle you're facing in that office. You win that battle you're facing in that business. You win that battle you're facing in your marriage. You win that battle you're facing in your career. God is in control. His name is Jesus Christ. He said, come to me and I'll give you rest. God is waiting to walk with you, to set you free, to release the captives free. Yes, God can do it for you. I pray that this morning, may God grant you the desire of your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray this morning, may the Lord show you the victory as he did to David. When David was trying to pursue after all the family was captured, he acquired unto the Lord, and the Lord said, you can pursue them. God will grant you the grace to pursue whatever they were stolen from you, in Jesus' name, amen. If you're watching us through Facebook, please like, please share, and please send us your comment. We'll be more than happy to hear what the Lord has done to your life. If you're watching us through YouTube, subscribe and share to somebody as well. We love to hear what the Lord has done to your life. Never, ever give up. Keep on moving. Kumbu girani. Zabuino. Zidagari. Zikubera. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just relax in the precious hand of the Holy Spirit. You are very safe on that hand. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and waiting to see you tomorrow. Call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll be more than happy to come back to you. Because together, we can stop Satan from killing, stealing, and destroying that life. Thank you and bye-bye.